It's Thursday, October 27th, and after Microsoft unveiled their new sorta iMac-like Surface Studio PC and new Surface Pro 2-in-1 laptop yesterday, it's Apple's turn to shine today. And outside of any really well-kept One More Thing secrets that haven't been leaked, we're expecting Tim Cook and company to show off a thoroughly redesigned MacBook line at today's Hello Again event. While the tech specs are expected to catch up the aging MacBook line to competitors, we're of course very interested to see exactly how the OLED touch bar at the top of the keyboard can be used. Is it just for custom buttons and controls, or will it also show notifications, or maybe really, really widescreen movies? New iMacs could also be in the mix, and hopefully we'll know when the new AirPod earbuds will finally arrive. We'll have a full wrap up here on DT after the event. Despite being an icon of social media and a key player in this year's election, Twitter still struggles to pay the bills. Well, it's struggling a little bit less today after barely beating Wall Street's Q3 bets, but it's also laying off almost 10% of its workforce, which amounts to about 300 people, and recent buyout hopes appear to have evaporated. So what to do? Well, during the earnings call, CFO Anthony Noto hinted some adjustments or additions to a Twitter user's timeline could be coming, including possible tabs that center around events or a favorite sports team or political party or any topic, really. Twitter has had a custom timeline feature for three years now, but apparently not many people use it. Now that feature may get a second look and a thorough revamp. The addition of some machine learning to bring more tweets around your own topics of interest may help, and CEO Jack Dorsey says online safety, as in less trolling, was another area that will see improvement. How all that will help the bottom line is unclear, but as frequent users of the service, we have to admit we're pulling for everyone trying to make the birdhouse a success. Quick update from the FCC now, as the five-member board just did you a favor by telling big internet service providers that they must have explicit permission from you before they share data with third parties, such as marketing firms. The decision prohibits companies like Comcast and Verizon from sharing your browsing history, app usage, and a long list of other data points. And if you do opt in to share, they also have to tell you what they're sharing and why. It's the consumer's information, FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler told the Washington Post. How it is used should be the consumer's choice, not the choice of some corporate algorithm. Hey, I think we like this guy. Thanks a bunch, Tom. That's it for DT Daily. Be sure to check back for the Apple event recap later today, and we'll see you again tomorrow.